evening, I'm Guy Langostino. The stars won't come out if they know that you're about. Cause they couldn't match the glow in your eyes. And won't, oh, where am I? Just an ordinary guy as yes, you're trying hard to win me the first prize. 1965 Spanish Harlem. I had a 1965 Cadillac Eldorado. She was so beautiful, I thought she was from the mythical city of El Dorado. All made of gold, baby. Solid. I saw her walking down the street in Fort Washington and said, hey, how about an El Dorado riding in my El Dorado? What could be better? Her name was Candida. Whoa, Candida. We could make it together. The further from here, the better. Where the air is fresh and clean. Whoa, whoa, Candida. Just take my hand and I'll lead you. I promise life will be sweeter And it says so in my dreams I was selfish, admittedly I wanted her all to myself We fell in love and I moved with her to Central America Nicaragua to be specific Where for two years I ran her brother's mahogany plant Nicaraguan life was a real hoot Alas, her family were intent on having their daughter marry a proper Latin American boy. I was Italian, but not close enough. The future is bright. That crazy gypsy told me so last night. Said she saw our children playing in the sunshine. We broke up and I came back home. As fate would have it, my seatmate in the flight was Tony Wine, an old friend from New York City and a songwriter at the world famous Brill Building in New York City on Broadway and 49th. In our subsequent booze soaked first class Continental Airlines flight, I told Tony my story of heartbreak. Me corazon is aching, I exclaimed as I ordered my fifth gin Ramos fizz from a lovely stewardess named Daphne. And there was you and I In a house, baby, that's no lie And all these things were yours And they were mine Cut to about a year later And I'm back on my feet again doing A&R at Columbia Records Across the hall from me was none other than a kid named Tony Orlando Who headed up the music publishing division He had a great ear and little known fact at the time, a dynamite voice. Tony was half Puerto Rican and half Greek. What a combo, huh? We used to frequent all the Greek joints up there in Astoria, Queens, taking in our share of lamb shish kebabs, ouzo, and fine women from Athens. Tony would often get up and do a few numbers with a band. Many plates were broken, my friends. Opa! The king need them. We could make it together The further from here, girl, the better The way the air is fresh and clean Whoa, hey, Candida Just take my hand and I'll lead you I promise life will be sweeter And it says so in my dreams Round about that time, you know, this is about 1970 I was sitting in my office buffing on a ball mall and staring out at a gray New York fall afternoon. My phone rings and it's uh, Tony Wine on the other end. Guy, she says, remember the flight from Miami? Well, I wrote a song about your Latin love and broken heart. It's called Candida. I hope you don't mind. Instantly, my heart was in my throat. I was glad that my life had inspired a song. But hearing her name again brought back all the pain. I gathered myself, lit a fresh grit, and told Tony it was cool. She had a problem, though. They had tried recording the number with a whole bunch of different singers, 
but none of them worked very well. They all sounded too white. She said they needed an ethnic feel. I spun my chair around and looked across the hall at Tony Orlando. It hit me like a bolt of lightning. I'll call you back, I told Tony. I slammed down a receiver and streaked across the hall to Tony's office. A little of this now, huh? A little Calypso. Feel that, huh? In the wall, who am I? Just an ordinary guy, call me Lango. Trying hard to win me the first prize. I won! It took some convincing. Tony had some hits in the early 60s, but it put down the mic for good and was settling nicely into his record exec lifestyle. He didn't want to jeopardize his cush gig or anger Columbia head honcho Clive Davis by doing a record with another label. No records in this case. I assured him that we'd use a band name for the project and no one would ever know it was him. The band name was Dawn. But soon that turned into Tony Orlando and Dawn. There was no way to hide a major talent like his. Candida was a top 10 hit all over the world and top 20 in the USA. Better than that, it kicked off a career for Tony that included multiple number one hits, a CBS variety show, guest appearances galore throughout the 70s. He even guested on Chico and a Man for Christ's Sakes with his best friend, Freddie Prince Jr. The guy was everywhere. And all because I got my heart broken in Nicaragua. The Candida We could make it together The further from here, girl, the better Where the air is fresh and clean Oh, Candida Just take my hand and I'll lead you I promise life will be sweeter And it says so in my dreams Whoa! We're gonna make it, baby. You gotta trust me. Oh, and by the way, six years later, on a sunny afternoon in Los Angeles, I was driving my Cadillac down Wilshire Boulevard. By this time, it was a Seville. And who do I see sashaying down the street but Candida herself? I honked the horn, beep beep, and she jumped in. We drove around listening to the song on the 8-track and reminiscing about our love affair. She got out about three months later. But this time, it was for good. Strangely enough, Candida became a nun, moved back to Latin America, and started an orphanage, proving that not only was she one hot number, but she also had a heart of gold. I'm Guy Langostino, and this has been another story from The Langostino Files.